Good, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> he asked if we're going to be on YouTube. Uh -huh. You too. Imagine that. We drove in here and now everybody's leaving. Yeah. What did, what did we say? What did we say to him? What did we do? What happened? I made it all the way up here without having to get off. And then I run into this. <sighs> I thought I was gonna make it. And then I saw that and I was just like. <sighs> you did good though. You almost did it. You gonna go for the next section here? Mm. Try to ride it. Oh. Pretty sure this stuff isn't meant to be ridden on. But I haven't seen every mountain biker even on full suspension clean that. Really? I mean, I have. I've seen it, but you'd be surprised how many people can't ride it on a full suspension mountain bike. Yeah. So don't feel bad. You're crushing it. Yeah. So today we are in Santa Rosa, California. And uh, we came over here because there's a, uh, a really interesting 
bike shop, coffee shop, brewery type thing. And there's a couple of old bikes there that I wanted to go check out. Oh. So I thought maybe you'd want to stop in there. They have coffee and beverages. But before we do it, I thought we could hit this trail network. Okay. Look, we got some mountain bikers coming up right now. Better move it. All the black stuff you see here, this is all from the 2017 fire. And uh, yeah, so these trees are all doing just fine. You got redwood needles coming back, some all young growth coming in down below here. So this place will be back. So this cools. Here is underbiking today. And she wanted to demonstrate proper underbiking techniques. But you've got a nice rainstorm last night, which was a real surprise. It's been very, very dry in Northern California. And last night we got some thunder, some lightning, got some rain. It was nice. Hopefully, we'll get some more rain soon. Had it. This, uh, this here, this is the top of Mount Anadel in Santa Rosa, California. Schools made it up here, underbiked, undercarbed. What other, what other under things are you at the moment? Undershort. Those are undershorts. Or is that under, under gear? Under geared? Under geared? No, what would be that? That would be under, uh, um, some under something. Under outfitted. Under outfitted. Thank you. Under. Miss Cools is under outfitted today. She forgot her shorts, but how was it on on that climb up here? Under biked. Mm. It was fine, except for the parts that I had to get off and walk. But that was fine too, though. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's nice. You don't always have to have a full suspension mountain bike to come and have fun. It was good except for the, the rocks. Yeah, the rocks here. This is a rocky... This is known for the rocks. And the trail names are even named after all the rocks. Uh-huh. You've got Rough Go and Flint Stone and Barney Rubble uh -huh. and Wilma Rubble and uh, Shamrock Trail, and there's all kinds. 
all the trails up here are named after all the rocks. So. Is there really a Barney Rebel? Yep. We passed him on the way up. Okay. Didn't you see him? Yeah. He was with Fred. But yeah, you can see all the rocks. This is typical. This is totally normal stuff here. This is as this is actually as smooth as you're gonna get here in Annadale. It's a cool tree. Wow! Look at that sap. With the sun reflecting off it. Mm -hmm. That looks really neat. Yeah, so today what we're gonna, what I thought we would do just for the fun of it, there's a bike at the Trail House, Trail House, the Trail House in Santa Rosa, California. And this bike has actually been featured on the Radivist website, one of them. And they got like a cool display of bikes up there. And I just wanna go look at it because I'm currently working on a bike that's sort of similar to those you know like the late 90s when there was a cyclocross bikes were getting i mean they were popular already but cyclocross bikes were i don't know rim braked steel you know so there's some nice custom bikes over there i want to go look at okay cool because my new bike is going to be very similar to those it's a uh, modeled after the the great 90s legendary cyclocross champions yeah so, so i thought we'd cruise in there check it out what do you think is that a good idea sure all right we got this pretty gnarly descent coming up what do we do it's pretty rocky and technical so okay it's four o'clock Favorite beverage here. Vibe. If there were one company, Miss Goals, that would sponsor me, that I would actually take a sponsorship from, 
I would take a revive. I would totally take a revive sponsorship for this channel. Yeah. Yeah. That would save us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. That, that would probably buy me a new bike. It would, huh? I would um, I would take a sponsorship from a, a pretzel company. Mm-hmm. Pretzels. I would eat pretzels in every video. Just keep your sponsorship. Just keep my sponsorship. Yeah. Yeah, and you'd be a great model for those pretzels. <laughs> so, what'd you think of those cool bikes, Miss Bulls? Oh, um, they looked a lot like ours. They were, uh, they were retro. I guess that's what people used to ride before um, full suspension mountain bikes up there. I'm kind of surprised they were up on the wall and. Someone wasn't riding them. People aren't riding them. Yeah. They look like they're good bikes to ride. They're wall art now. What do you think? I think it was cool. Yeah, it's always good to get a little inspiration from some of those older bikes, I guess. Just kind of see how they've evolved since then. Not a lot has changed, really, in a lot of ways. Really? They're just everything's just a '90s mountain bike now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Are those bikes up there as an example of uh, what not to ride, or what what we actually should be riding, or they're just there? I don't know. Uh, I know they've got some historical significance to them because those bikes were bikes that got the ball rolling for certain kinds of bikes we ride today. So maybe they're just there because of their historical significance. But I mean, they're no different. Th these bikes we're riding are no different, basically. 